Yeah. And then let's give him a little more space. We have good distance. All right, got coach here. Can you hear me all set? Okay. Um, yeah, so, uh, you know, we were able to talk as a team and as an organization and, um, you know, Peyton will be with us the rest of the way and, um, you know, that's just a decision, um, a prior engagement that he had months ago and it's something that, you know, we honored and um, we'll be moving forward. Alright, Murphy. Hey, Joe. Um, Aaron seems like he's very meticulous about your... Internet. How many questions do we do we get enough into it? One. Can you hear can you hear me? He's got one. Got one in. There. Yeah, we're good. I, we left off about Aaron, uh, meticulous about. His routine and uh, just how would you describe his preparation and the work he puts into his shooting? Yeah, I mean, I think that's something that, um, you know, the great NBA shooters have is their attention to detail, they're meticulous, and that's something that him and I, uh, well, he came in that way. That's just how, you know, he was raised and, and the type of person that he is, and that's why he is who he is. And uh, when him and I got together, we just continued to work on that and just finding an MDA routine, um, you know, to help him remain comfortable and confident in his shot. And, you know, I think that's what separates great shooters in the NBA, and that's why he's going to be a great one. Awesome again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so how, how's Carson doing after the injury yesterday? Uh, he's doing great. He's doing fine. Um, you know, usually we got stitches and Carson up, and he had a good workout today. Is he going to be good to go tomorrow? Yep. Did they ask already about other guys lining the place? Yeah, yeah, we talked about that. He said, you know, it's just a timing thing. Peyton had a prior um, arrangement that was important to him and his family, and we honored that. And, and we'll just go forward. Is Aaron going to be playing on Saturday? Yes. All right. Um, the only other question I have on Aaron, um, during his rookie year, he's a guy who would get very frustrated with himself in terms of mistakes, like, you know, almost sort of like a perfectionist look for him. Have you guys had to guide him through, you know, like kind of going with the flow through mistakes and learning from those and not really getting caught up in every play? No, I mean, he's a smart enough, mature enough young man to be able to do that on his own. I think a lot of that came from just, he didn't have a summer league last year. The COVID, you know, workouts and training camp was a little bit different. And, you know, I think he just could never really get into a rhythm. Um, but, but once he settled down and understood what his role was and understood that the stuff that he can't control, he was fine. So, you know, he's, he's very mature. And uh, he's able to work through those things. And he talked about working, uh, you know, on difficult shots. It looks like we're seeing him do a little more off the balance. What are some of the things he worked on in the off season that you're starting to see show itself on you know, some of that stuff? Yeah, I mean, his passing has been good. His ball handling has been good. And, um, you know, just he feels more comfortable in his shot. I know his release is a little bit quicker. So I think just becoming more of a well-rounded shooter and not just being a catch-and-shoot guy. And, and defensively, what do you think from having some of the other NBA guys? Okay. Uh, defensively, you know, I think he's fine. He's doing a good job keeping guys in front and showing his hands. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.